Welcome back to Freedom to Think. I'm your host, Jeff D. P. Diddy. Let's talk about it. I'm from the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. Very recently, a documentary came out called Quiet on Set, uh, featuring some of Nickelodeon's dark past with the child actors. Now, Dan Schneider came out and had a sort of apology interview where he uh, downplayed some of the things that were going on, saying, quote, all these jokes, every one of these jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny and only funny. Interesting because P. Diddy was there in 2002 and the jokes really weren't that funny. In fact, they were just kind of disgusting. So I guess the kid audience that thought these things were funny were P. Diddy and his circle of friends. Let's take a look at the clips. All these jokes that you're speaking of, um, that the show covered over the past two nights, every one of those jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny mm. and only funny. Tell you what, take this toy helicopter, <laughs> put it down his pants. All right, we'll do it. We'll do. <laughs> Come on, baby. Didn't work. He's still asleep. Try this. <laughs> Shall I? By all means. Now you might be saying that I'm reaching a bit and that it's totally a normal bit of humor for children to take a minor, lay them down in a sleeping position, coat them in an unidentified white liquid substance, and whack their genitals over and over again with a machine. Okay, uh, well, let's try this next clip. Good morning. I can see you in your room. Hey, 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 stop screaming. Hey, it's just me, P. Diddy. Come on, what's your problem? The kid wakes up, goes to the window, and there's a giant P. Diddy telling him to be quiet, be quiet. It's just me. Be quiet. Your mom will hear you. It's just weird, man. You know, it's like you're trying to separate the kids from the parents. You're like, it's just me. I'm just your friend. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing nasty or whatever is going to happen because it's just me, the cool guy. So just shh. You don't want your kids. You don't want your mom to hear. You don't want your mom to find out that I'm here alone with you. It reminds me of that really sick guy. Hi, love. Here are three ways to disrespect your elders. So if you're dealing with a narcissistic parent or a bullying boss at work, limit contact. Don't do extra. Don't go above and beyond. Don't show up constantly, consistently, and all the time sacrificing your life for their agenda. That dude's a freaking weirdo. King of the groomers, I'm telling you. Well, look, I got more clips. I know. I've been busy. This is just one of two, guys. Well, one of five, but there's twins. So I'll keep getting at it. But look at this crap. I played the youngest rapper of all time, Lil Fetus. This is Lil Fetus? No, no, no. I'm Lil Fetus's manager and mother. Lil Fetus! <laughs> and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Fetus in the womb, yeah. What's up, my man? Can you hear me in there? Coming in loud and clear, P. Diddy. So, what's it like living in your mama's belly? It's tight. Oh, so you like it? No, man, it's too tight. I can't move. I gotta bust out of this belly. Oh, 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 wait a minute. You're not going anywhere until we finish this tour. A whole bunch of years ago, there was a viral video that went around about Planned Parenthood because all the Democrat politicians were saying that they were offering prenatal services. Uh, 
they weren't? Uh, we don't offer any prenatal care. We don't offer prenatal care at Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood offers abortion, so they don't offer prenatal care. Prenatal care. These are the kinds of services that folks depend on Planned Parenthood for. And a president who will fight for prenatal care. Prenatal care. Um, and that, that is what we want to focus on. That is what is so vital. Thank you for coming Planned Parenthood. My name is How can I assist you today? Hi, I was hoping to make an appointment for prenatal care. For what type of service? Um, prenatal care, pregnancy care. We don't have prenatal care here. Planned Parenthood offers abortions, so they don't offer prenatal care. Okay, just abortions. Yeah. Unfortunately, no, we wouldn't provide any pre type of prenatal services here at Planned Parenthood. We're not a prenatal care provider. No Planned Parenthood does prenatal care. We don't offer prenatal care at Planned Parenthood. We specialize in abortions. No, right. see, we, we don't see pregnant women as a way of giving prenatal care. Okay. We see pregnant women, um, you know, if they are considering other options. Like what other options? Like, what do you see the doctor for? At this location? Yeah. Yes. Um, so at this location, you guys do uh, medication uh, abortion? I actually had a similar thing happen because I was in a spot where I was very broke. Yes, it happens repeatedly for me. I called Planned Parenthood to get some prenatal care on the cheap, and they said, no, we just have abortions. And I said, well, I thought you guys had sonograms and stuff. And they said, yeah, we do offer sonograms if you're getting an abortion. I was like, oh, well, damn. What if you're not? Like what, what the planned parenthood, like you're, you're planning for parenthood. You want the parenthood. And so uh, they said, no, we don't do that. We just terminate the pregnancies. Uh, also, they refuse to call your baby a baby. It's a fetus. So I hate the whole thing with the like embryo fetus thing. It's like, it's a baby, dude. It's a baby. Also, they're trying to call a 10, 20, 30 week along pregnancy a fetus. Like it's not a baby until you consent for it to be a baby. Whatever toxic weirdness they have being pushed into the, into the programming. But I'm not down with it at all. Now, Drake Bell has more to talk about with this as well, because it was basically him versus all of the Nickelodeon Hollywood people. What do you make of their responses? And others. Well, well I, 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 I find it interesting when my dad would go to executives um, and say that there's behaviors on set between adults and minors that he's finding uncomfortable, and they would shoo him away. And they, and so, I mean, if that's their idea of an investigation, I mean, it's very faulty, and I don't think that they would discover anything with an investigation like oh, you don't understand, he's just that way. That's just the type, of, that's just how he is. Our hearts are broken for these people because a lot of us had either ourselves or our family. I know my sisters were huge fans of this Drake and Josh thing. Um, so to see him being taken advantage of to that level and then very clearly and obviously they don't mean what they're saying. And it was an empty investigation. It, it's just lip service, like he said, crafted by some Hollywood lawyer that says, say X and then we'll all be out of trouble. All right, last bit of Diddy being a freak on Nickelodeon. Here's him performing for a bunch of teenage girls, wooing them with the lyrics to his song. So let me see you shake it, girl. Shake it, girl. I just want to see you shake it, girl. For the return of... Look, a lot of people knew there were signs that Diddy was a freak, and now all of the connections to him seem that much more suspicious. Here's a shout out from LeBron James. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. So all the people that were friends with this guy are starting to put a little bit of distance between them because it's not a good look. If your boy seemed to be well connected to kitty diddlers and all this sort of nasty hip hop, what would you call that? Selling your booty hole for fame. But this wasn't a mystery. This was being called out for a while. And there's a lot of people pointing out the fact that it's just not that surprising given the information we had. Look at this breakdown from Tom McDonald. Apparently P Diddy's homes are being raided 
for sex trafficking allegations. You're telling me the guy who rapped, I won't be satisfied till all my brothers get it, see you hit it, and then I hit it, turn a freak to a bisexual, and if she's flexible, F the brother next to you. You're telling me the guy that rapped that might be a predator? Shocker. Personally, I didn't trust this guy after he had Tupac killed. That was the red flag for me. Can we make sure the security cameras, wherever they lock Diddy up, are working? Because we all know what happened the last time a billionaire got arrested for the same thing. Epstein! Pardon me. And now Diddy's been accused of sleeping with like a bunch of mainstream artists. Meek Mill, Usher. You know what the best part about being an independent rapper is? P. Diddy doesn't try to f you. Like these claims coming in about P. Diddy make R. Kelly look like a f Teletubby. And he peed on people. But you know what the craziest part about this whole thing is? There's still rappers out there who would gladly let P. Diddy bone them for a little fame. Stay away from the mainstream entertainment business. Stay away from P. Diddler. And stay independent. P. Diddler is a savage nickname. Uh, although, apparently no homo is being replaced with no Diddy. Just for you guys to know and use. But yeah, check out independent artists. I have the Freethinker Reaction playlist on my channel. Where I go through a shitload of artists like Tom McDonald, Tyson James, Chris Webby, High Res, uh, Tommy Vexed, smaller, you know, like Epitaph Records, uh, Falling Reverse, et cetera, et cetera. I got, I got like over a hundred videos on that. So you guys should be looking at those kind of artists, supporting those kind of artists, and stay away from the demonic mainstream only allowed in the club if you're into butt stuff artists. Uh, Cause that just, that just ain't, it's not good for you. There's this weird, like buck breaking ritual of black men, uh, from the music industry and in Hollywood. Uh, and you can look into what all that means, but, uh, th there's this funny article that Tim pool shared that the Hodge twins commented on straight black men are the white people of black people. And the Hodge twin says, I guess we, some white black people, those guys are hilarious. I love them. There is a culture that's coming for your kids. It's coming for, uh, for your masculinity. It's coming. It's just trying to destroy the country is all it is. This is what they want you to think. This is someone completely captured by the brainwash narrative of hating the strength and power of a God fearing nuclear family. Your family is a total fucking scam. The nuclear family is a total fucking scam. Please allow me to be moan that we're not supposed to be doing this alone. The nuclear family is a total fucking scam. How is it a scam? In what way is it a scam? Look at the poverty rates. Look at the incarceration rates, the crime rates of men without a father. The nuclear family is like the bedrock of a good, solid civilization. Between government subsidized single motherhood and the LGBT mafia coming for your children, they're trying to destroy the power of a nuclear family. Don't let them resist all of this. Protect your kids, protect your family. And for God's sakes. Yeah, that's fine. Don't leave your kids alone with strangers.